Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we are going to be working on our comment field. And basically what we want to do is we want to make sure that the user is typing in a minimum amount of characters, 30 characters to be exact, so that they can't just type in hi and submit the comment. They actually have to type in a, an actual comment. So depending on what you want to do for your form, maybe this would be 10 characters, 100 characters, 5 characters, but the actual number is not the important thing. It's the logic of how we're going to implement this that is the important thing. So, as you've seen, as we've been going through this, we have been able to validate what the user is typing in while they're going. But now what we are going to want to validate is not the actual content of what they're typing in, but the comment length. So you know how before every time we would check the, if the comment length is zero, if the comment length is zero, if the comment length is zero. Now we will be validating what the comment length is and checking out if it is good or bad. So if it's above our limit or below our limit. So let's think about this. Here in JavaScript, I'm just going to make a comment and I just want you guys to think for a couple seconds before we get into coding. So let's say our required characters is 30. So that is how many characters the user has to type in. So if we think about while they're typing in, once they start, their length is going to be zero. So once they, they start like typing, their length is going to be zero before they like hit anything. Then on their first character will be one, and then two, and then three, and then four. But we don't want to just show the user, we don't just want to grab the length and then send it back out to them because that's not really saying how many they have left. We don't want to say how many they have in there. We want to say how many they have left. So what we really want to say is if they have zero in there, we want to say you have 30 characters left. You have 29, you have 28, you have 27, and you have 26. So th in this column, we are counting what our length is. So this is our current length. And then this has to do with how many we have left. So somehow we have to find a relationship between the length and how many we have left. So what we are trying to determine is how many characters we have left. So we know on this side of the equal sign, what we want to get is how many we have left. So look at this. 30 minus 0 is 30. 30 minus 1 is 29. If you take the amount of required characters and subtract it by the length, you will get how many you have left. Look, if we take the amount of required, so required, and then subtract it by the current length, you will get how many they have left. So what's actually left is what we want to output to the screen because we want it to be a countdown. So it has to say 30, 29, 28, 27 while they're typing. So required 30, required minus the current length, current length is what's left 30 <clears throat> so this will efficiently give us the result that we are looking for so now that we know what we want to accomplish now let's figure out how to code this so I'm going to leave this here so that we can result to it in a second so we want to say something like function and let's say validate comment and then we are going to say um, var comment is assigned document dot get element by ID dot value okay and the ID is going to be that ID of whatever our text area is so in that text area we're going to want to give it an ID of comment and let's say message I guess so instead of saying comment comment so let's copy this, go back and do um, into JavaScript and paste it in there. And I want to make sure I spelled this right. Get element by ID. Okay, yes, I did. Okay, so what we are going to say is if oh, we also have to make our um, we also have to make our attributes for all of these things that we specified up here. So we know that our var required is assigned thirty, and we know our var left is assigned required minus and how do we find out the length you just say comment dot length 
So now our left will be this. So our left, when they first start, will be 30. Then it'll be 29, 28, 27. So every single on key that they do, our left will end up changing. So now what we need to do is we need to say if left is greater than 0. So now, because as you can see, we're doing a countdown. So once it hits 0, that means we're good. So if the left is greater than 0, that would mean that we were good. Um, that would mean that we were uh, bad, I'm sorry. If it was greater than 0, that would mean that it would be one of these, so it would be bad. But once it hits 0, then we're actually good. So now we want to do our produce prompt. So you have to say produce prompt. And then give me the empty braces and a semicolon and then return false. So we know that we are going to need to specify our prompt location. So now we need to make our prompt location in our label. So that would be ID is assigned and then comment message prompt. Copy that and we could paste that in here. And now let's not forget to do our on key up. So let's say on key up and that would be validate a message. What did I call it here? Uh, a validate comment. Okay, so make sure it is the same name. So validate comment. So now on every single key, it will jump to that JavaScript function. So now I can save this because we are done with everything here. So now we have, we've specified the comment as that value. We've said that the required length is 30, and we now know how to dish out the left to them every single time. So what we want our prompt to say is something like blank amount is still required. So we want to say however many left um, is still required. So we would say left plus characters required. 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 Okay. So this will spit out whatever that number is, and it will be that's how we would get that countdown effect. So that whatever, however many characters they've typed in, it would say 28, 27, 26, there on and so forth. So then after this, we want to produce the prop that would say that this is valid. So that would be valid comment. Oh, let's not forget to make this red and then highlight over all this paste that in there so that it goes into the same prompt location and now we make it green semicolon and then return true so I hope all of you guys understand exactly what we are doing so this is going to effectively or it should I hope will effectively be able to show us a countdown and say 30 characters required 29 28 27 26 and then once it hits zero it will then stop this condition will no longer be true and then it will produce this prompt that will say valid comment so I'm gonna get rid of this note and now I'm going to save and now let's see if it works so I'm going to refresh the page and I'm going to start typing in and now we see our countdown but the second we hit over 30 now we have a valid comment take it out 30 characters required so this is how you can do a countdown for any field that you have and tell the user while they're typing that they need a valid comment. So the only thing that you would tweak is if you wanted to tweak on um, this down the road is all you would do was tweak this number and then you would be good. So this has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and I hope this tutorial was useful.